it's Rachel and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine. It's generally something that I do in the morning, but right now it's in the afternoon and since I'm not going out so much lately, I find that I only need to wash my face once per day. I have extremely oily skin in the T-zone, so I find that washing my face a lot strips the oils and makes it even more oily, ironically enough, which is the opposite of what I want to happen. So I'm going to get started, and the first product I'm going to be using is Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser. Okay, that's way too close. So it's for all skin types. I used to actually use the... Um, the one for oily acne prone skin but I just I found that it wasn't working for me it was irritating my skin so I just went with the gentle foaming cleanser seems to be safe enough so what I first do is the first I'm just gonna wet my face so I usually just take one pump but sometimes I take two depending on how oily I think my skin is. Again, I wouldn't recommend using too, too much. You don't want to overdo it, right? But usually I take like about two pumps or so, maybe one and a half, and I just rub that into my hands. So <laughs> I like to get it nice and foamy, but sometimes it doesn't always work the way I want it to. It usually foams like right in here, but any less than a minute I find it doesn't properly clean the skin. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse that off. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dry my face. And I make sure that it's pretty much thoroughly dry because the next step requires the face to be pretty much dry. Just a little thin here. <laughs> I like that feeling. So the second product I'm going to use is called Obaji Medical and it is Pore Therapy Silicic Acid 2%. So this is a really important step for how I try to keep my pores as clean as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little cotton pad. Just something you can get from the drugstore, anyone will do basically. And I just go ahead and I the first pump doesn't give much, so just another one, and I would say that's about all you need, just a dab. And I'm gonna go ahead and just rub in circles all over my face. Yeah, I have very sensitive skin. Everything turns red after any slightest touch to it. It would basically look like a tomato right now. But this is very useful. If I go like two days without doing this, my skin is an absolute mess. In terms of dirt anyways. Okay. So, now that I've done that, gonna go ahead and let it dry for a bit okay so the last step that I use is in a 
Bonji Medical Moisturizer. So it's the same brand. Uh, it's a moisturizer which is 20% glycerin and it's used to serve as skin protectant. So I find that since my T-zone is very oily, I don't need so much moisturizer there. I tend just to focus on the jawline area and the cheeks because those are the dry patches. So I just take a little pea size just on my finger like that. And I just put it on the other finger, so I just go ahead and very lightly rub it into the cheeks. I don't really like rubbing so much because I just find it a little bit harsh in the skin. And then the excess I just take in the T-zone a very, very light amount because all my large pores and oily areas are in the T-zone, so I don't focus too much in there. I find that I'm over moisturizing it then. And that is the end of my makeup routine. And that is the end of my skincare routine. So it's pretty basic. And at night, I skip the moisturizer and the toner. I just use the cleanser. Sometimes I even just use water. Depends on how much sweating I've done for the day. And I'm just going to show what I use at night. So this is what I was talking about before. I use, if you can even see it, it's kind of hard, it's bright, but it's Retin-A Microgel 1%. I just dab, um, I just dab it on these spots of my face. However, it's supposed to be used all over the face, but I find that it irritates my pores. And then just for spot treatment at any point during the day, I say it's pretty instant within half an hour to an hour, you're gonna see an improvement of a pimple, a stubborn pimple rather. So it's the Clean and Clear Advantage Spot Treatment with salicylic acid. It says that it has visible results in four hours and I'd say it's even less than that with my skin. So I really like this product, I recommend. Again, what may work for me might not work for you, but this is what I do and it seems to keep my skin relatively clear. So I hope you guys like this video, like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next video.